When the world's first high-speed rail crossing the desert was announced, it attracted global attention. This high-speed rail shuttles through the desert at an astonishing speed of 350 km per hour, giving people an unprecedented shock and surprise. However, the largest railway in the Middle East was not created by Western countries, but the Saudi Harriman High-Speed Railway, built by China in nine years. However, you may not know that there are many truths hidden behind this project. In the early days, Japan, Germany and other seven countries retreated one after another, but China bravely took on this arduous task. However, the project ended up costing China as much as $200 million. Perhaps, you will think this is a case of fiasco. But when we looked deeper, we discovered the immense challenges of building a high-speed train across the desert, and the strategic value of the project. Now, let's get right to it. Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. As one of the world's largest oil exporters, Saudi Arabia has always been in the impression of being very wealthy. But in Saudi Arabia, their country's railway transportation facilities are not yet perfect. This makes the logistics and personnel transportation in Saudi Arabia very inconvenient. In particular, the holy cities of Islam, Mecca and Medina, are two religious cities. Every year, nearly 3 million people come to the Mecca Grand Mosque in Saudi Arabia to worship. However, there is a vast desert between the two cities, and the influence of natural factors such as perennial sandstorms has a great impact on traffic safety between the two cities. In order to change this status quo, as early as 2009, Saudi Arabia planned to invest 16 billion US dollars to build the Haramain High Speed Railway. The total length of the railway is 450 kilometers, but the railway needs to be built on the desert to connect the two cities of Mecca and Medina. Therefore, the construction of this project is very difficult. Prior to this, Saudi Arabia had conducted on-site inspections with Japan, Germany and other countries. But both Japanese and German railway companies have refused to cooperate with Saudi Arabia. Because the Harriman High Speed Rail is too difficult and risky, it is estimated that it will take at least 10 years to be fully completed. After that, Saudi Arabia wanted to find a country that could build the railway faster, and started a project bidding through the world. In the face of many difficulties, high speed rail companies in almost all countries finally gave up, and only China took over the project in the end. So, do you know how difficult it is to build this desert high-speed rail? According to the data interpretation of the top scientific journal, Science, the desert in Saudi Arabia has been formed for more than hundreds of millions of years, and it is the longest desert in all continents. This also makes the sand grains in Saudi Arabia very small and difficult to fit tightly. Once there is a strong wind above level 4, the original gravel structure will be broken, and this kind of land is not suitable for building high-speed rail. But for China, the more difficult the project, the more China is interested in challenging it to complete. In order to meet the challenges of the Saudi desert environment, the Chinese railway team has adopted a number of innovative technologies, such as the use of special steel rails and concrete sleepers, and the construction of sand barriers and other measures. These technologies make the high-speed rail lines have better wind resistance and reliability, and have successfully realized the operation of high-speed rail in desert areas. After more than nine years of hard work, China has completed the 450 km Al Haraman High-Speed Railway. When the Al Haraman High-Speed Rail is officially completed, the total cost of the project is 60 billion rials, which is roughly equivalent to 16 billion US dollars. It became one of the largest railways in the Middle East. At the same time, this is also the world's first high-speed rail across the desert that Chinese companies have participated in overseas construction. 
the El Harriman high-speed rail can run on the track at 350 km per hour. Compared with the speed of traditional trains, the transit time of the El Harriman high-speed rail has been shortened from 4 hours to 2 hours. Up to now, the annual passenger volume has exceeded 15 million, which greatly facilitates worshippers and tourists in the cities along the route between Mecca and Medina, and stimulates the economic development of the areas along the route. Everyone cheered the Desert Railway when it opened in 2018. But there is an astonishing truth behind it. That is, China lost $200 million in helping Saudi Arabia build the Haramain high-speed rail. So, what is going on here? In order to maintain the construction speed and construction quality of the El Haramain high-speed railway, China not only adopts high-quality materials and construction technology in railway construction. At the same time, in order to improve the construction environment, the Chinese construction team also spent 1.5 billion US dollars to plant sand control plants along the railway. This solution greatly reduces the damage of sandstorms to high-speed railways. In addition, the anti-sand plants have played a role in fixing sand and gravel, helping the Chinese construction team to realize the construction of railway roadbeds in desert areas. Therefore, due to insufficient pre-investment funds, Chinese enterprises can only contribute their own funds to help the project to be better constructed. Even if there is a loss, why does China help Saudi Arabia build this highly difficult desert high-speed railway? In fact, this is also a layout for China in the Middle East. On the one hand, China can narrow its relationship with Middle Eastern countries by undertaking infrastructure projects. The Haramain high-speed rail is a great opportunity. More importantly, after the cooperation of the Haramain high-speed rail, Saudi Arabia and China have signed more energy-related cooperation. Among them, China will receive a 5% discount on international oil prices when purchasing energy such as Saudi oil. As of last year, the number of Arab countries that have signed the Belt and Road Cooperation Agreement with China has reached 20. The two sides cooperate in energy, trade, finance, investment, high technology, infrastructure, and other fields. But the premise of this cooperation is the need for infrastructure such as railways and ports. And China's help in the construction of high-speed rail and other infrastructure in the Middle East countries is exactly the premise of reaching cooperation in the future. Therefore, it is foreseeable that after China builds the railway in the Middle East, China's foreign trade will enter a new level. On the other hand, China's high-speed rail technology ranks among the world's leading, and it is now in the period of market expansion, and China's high-speed rail is mainly aimed at Europe and the Middle East. In the Middle East, many countries are actively considering the introduction of high-speed rail technology, which provides China with broad development opportunities. The case of China helping Saudi Arabia build high-speed rail not only proves China's infrastructure strength and technology, but also makes China's high-speed rail a shining business card. Although in this project, China faces a loss of 200 million US dollars. But this is not enough to conceal the outstanding performance and future development potential of China's high-speed rail technology. More importantly, through this project, China has established a good image and reputation in the Middle East, laying a solid foundation for future market expansion. Therefore, this loss should be seen as a necessary investment for China's high-speed rail technology to enter a wider market. In fact, China has gained a lot of valuable experience in the construction of the El Haramain high-speed railway. This is the first time that China has built a high-speed railway in a desert area. In this project, China has successfully met the challenges of the desert environment. Therefore, the experience and achievements China has gained in the El Haramain high-speed rail project will play an important role in the future construction of the desert high-speed rail. Since most of the Middle East is desert, there may be more rail network projects in the future. In this case, China will become one of the best desert high-speed rail experts, and other Middle Eastern countries are likely to cooperate with China on infrastructure projects.